Ayan, good morning everyone! Welcome to the Daily Grind. Today is a Friday. Uh, medyo natagalan ako lang simula kasi natagalan ako ng paggising when I woke up. Um, <laughs> nagulat lang ako. Alas, alas 8 na pala. <laughs> so yeah, medyo nat- matagal lang ng tulog kagabi. I was kind of busy kasi ang daming preparations. Um, Financial Freedom 101 is gonna be very busy this year and all of this is for you for everyone and so thank you so much for your continual support for financial freedom 101 patuloy pong lumalaki ang channel patuloy pong pumapasok ang mga blessings dahil po sa suporta ninyo thank you so much um it's a friday today so konti ingat sa market we're gonna be talking about the market also today and my picks and yung title ko ngayon there was there i was i was thinking of good topics sana ngayon eh but somehow hindi ko napagandaan kasi yun na nga na busy so tum- on monday abangan niyo po um it's gonna be a very good topic we're gonna be talking about revenge trading right um uh pag-usapan natin yan on one day right today um we're gonna be talking about my picks lang muna um i'm gonna be uh yung picks ko ngayon is ssi fni psb um CLI, FIN, BDO, Wilcon, AC, and IDC. Alright, um, let me post this here. Napit lang ako kasi medyo nakukuba ako dahil sa microphone. Ayan. So, ito yung picks ko for today. Uh, let me move the microphone nearer. Ayan. So, yun. Um, first up, yan. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to my daughter, Laika. Pag-usapan po natin ang mga um, comments po ninyo. If you have any questions, please post it in the comments. Um, if you have any um, recommendations, may recommendations kayo or meron kayong chart na gustong um, tingnan natin ngayon on a Friday, um, tingnan natin. Alright? Um, unahin ko po yung mga comments ng mga tao. Rodrigo Carlos, good morning. Sir Lloyd, good morning din. O nga pala, guys, paki po, um, um, I will be asking for your support. Uh, a little request, kindly, kindly share the video. share po ang video sa Facebook walls niyo and to your uh, trading groups if you have any trading groups um, para po uh, yung mga newbies doon, matutu- um, malaman po nila na may program na ganito that is gonna help them on their stock market journey. Congratulations! Sa mga nagbodega kay PHA, I told you, keep buying PHA on the dips. Ilang anong, na, buwan din yun, eh, diba? So for, for a month, was that for a month or more, diba? Sabi ko, keep buying on the dips. And yesterday, PHA, lumipad si PHA, right? Um, let me go to uh, the chart. Yan, si PHA, one of the biggest winners yesterday, 11%. This is a good dip kay PHA. Sabi ko sa inyo, magbodega. And ayan na, uh, si PHA, kumita na. Right, so congratulations sa mga pumasok kay PHA. Same with OR. Um, ilang araw ko na rin to, um, Same with PHA, sinabay ko dalawang to eh. Right, so OR is starting to move again. Right, this was a very good support for so, kay OR. And there it is. It's moving already. So congratulations sa nagbodega kay PHA and OR. Not that big of a win yet kay OR, but still, win is a win. Kaya ka po, ni-recommend ito. Because these are companies na hindi gaano napapansin ng mga tao. These companies are getting better and better. Si CPG, na una nang lumipad eh. Right? So CPG, sabi ko rin po sa inyo, magbodega lang sa, um, on the dips. And this was a very good dip. And there it is. CPG is already starting to go up. Let me just load my chart. I mean, my chart layout. And si CPG, bodega ng CPG. And so, it's already starting to go up. Um, very good bounce. Nga pala, no? Bakit hindi ko ito nareko today? Dapat nareko ko rin si CPG. We have an MA20 and with backed up. That bounce was backed up with good volume. So, I'm, I'll just wait for one more green bar before I'm gonna be recommending that again. But congratulations wa, sa mga nagbodega. And, um, Hops, good morning, sir. Nice bounce kay PSEI. Chart request EEI. This is from Hops, EEI, PCOR, SEC, and IRC. And si IRC, nag-break ng support kahapon. Um, hindi ko nakita ka, uh, how it closed. Uh, collapsed. Ayun, um, nag-bounce rin kaagad naman si IRC. So, it's still, the support is still holding. And so we'll talk about the chart later on. Mm-hmm. I write down the requests here. And so that's for hops. Uh, R. Leo, good morning, sir. Good morning, then Jolie Gares. Good morning, sir Lloyd and Laika. Maing buntag, sir Lloyd from VD Amavi. Jun Delejero, good morning, sir Lloyd, and to your family. Senyo rin po, Jun. Um, 
Is this June hair uh, hairstyle? I'm not really sure if this is June hairstyle. Yun June Dilhero. Um, Manjari Slo- Lopena. Nice day. Na- nice last day. The grind for the week. Tell Picor po, please from Manjari's. All right, let's write these down. Si Picor ay ako gumalaw eh. Nagpapakipot pa eh. Right po. Um, tingnan natin ngayon. Uh, good morning, um, Addison. Si Noel Taranco. Good morning, Coach. Pakisuyo po ng RCI. and si RCI. Oi, Noel. See you on uh, February 2. Ayan. Si RCI. Tignan natin yan. Um, sir, nabasa niyo po yung call financial report ni Udena. Any insight po? Thanks. Uy, maganda yan na. Let's open it. Mm, hindi ko na po nabasa. Tignan natin. Let me open my call financial. Oops. Technical guides, speak old AC, our long play right the metro. Hindi ko nakita. Um, can you please give me a link para makita natin? Uy, may bagong technical guide si Call Financial. So, I'm gonna be uploading this para sa mga tao. At least may access kayo dito. I'll post this on the Billionaires Club. Consumer sector outlook go to pick up slowing inflation and midterm from the midterm elections. Um, can you please give me a link of the Udena? Uh, yung sinasabi niyo po na Udena na report, right? Um, hmm. Wala naman, wala akong makita. Uh, yun, so... Uy, si SSI, nirecommend din ni Call Financial. Yan, SSI is number one pick ko po ngayon. So, yan, si SSI nag-bounce po sa support for a good company. That's a very good sign. Noity, my buntag, Sir Lloyd. Good morning. Then, Investor Sandy, good morning, Sir. Any takes on PCOR? Tingnan nga natin si PCOR. Anyways, picks ko lang naman ang pag-usapan natin ngayon. So, let's go ahead. Si PCOR, yan, si PCOR, still good, right? um Very good volume on this level still. Right? Uh, yan. Uh, Picor still okay. Buy as long as the support holds for Picor. You're seeing volume and the prices are not ch- uh, changing that much. People are already accumulating on these levels, right? People are already accumulating. Wag po kayo magdali, magmadali. Um, marami ako na babasa kasi eh, na naiinip na sila kay Picor again. We're just here. It's just how many days. Nobody can tell you tell if ever gagalaw yan kaagad or hindi. The best we can do really is pumusisyon. Look at what the chart is telling us. The chart is telling us that volume is already increasing at this point. Yung mga tao nagbubudega na. Kung lalabas kayo dyan, nako po, it's gonna be a very big mistake sa inyo. So, kukulitin ko po kayo si Picor. I, this is a very strong bet of mine. I recommended this for how many days. Nangantay lang ako ng green before I recommend ko ulit. But guys, look at that accumulation volume already. Yet, napakaganda na po ng volume ni Picor nag-accumulate na ang mga tao. So, please, yan. Huwag po kayo mainip. Gagalaw din yan. It's just that it doesn't work. Um, stock market doesn't work like that. Ang, ang stock market kasi, ito, ito yung problema ng mga newbies. Eh. Gusto nila pag pumasok sila, one or two days lumipad ka agad. Stock market doesn't work like that. Um, what we do is we enter with the technical analysis that we have and then bet on it and then it takes time for a stock to move it can move pwedeng pwedeng a week from now and minsan nga two weeks from now eh, di ba um si PHA uh, nakita nyo ilang isang buwan din bago gumalaw di ba so bodega lang ng bodega ngayon picor you can see the volume right the chart will tell you right in po makikita ninyo it will tell you where this stock is going volume is already at these levels. So, people are starting to accumulate already. And then, once um, naubos na ang mga sellers at this point, you know what will happen. Aakit at aakit din yan. So, Picor po, yes. Uh, let me erase these uh, these lines. Ayaw, ayaw na matanggal. Hindi ko, pa, hindi ko alam paano tanggalin ito. So, anyways. <laughs> yan na lang. Ayan. Ito pala. Ayan. So, yan. Picor. Um, bilhin nyo na po yan. Right? Um, by the bounce. Right? Ella Montefalco. Good morning. Uh, Cherry Ann. Dia, Diana. Diasana. Diasanta. Right? Diasanta. Right? Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pakicheck naman po si Primex and ISM. I'll write these down. Primex and ISM. 
Primex and ISM. Si Primex, andun pa rin sa support eh. Bumalik naman sa support. So, yun. Uh, still okay. Um, ISM, uy, green kapon sa ISM. Congratulations. I really like the movement of ISM. Um, it's slowly accumulating. Umakyat ng umakyat. So, that's bullish. Joy P, good morning, sir. Picor, EW po. Please, Picor and EW. Sulat natin si EW. Guys, si Picor, yes, it's a buy. Especially pag nag-green yan today. Hindi ko lang nirecord today because wala pang green. But, yeah, pasokin nyo na po yan. You can see the accumulation already. Si EW, daanan natin yan mamaya. Kasel John Visaya, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pasuyo po ng SM. Nag-sell half ako <clears throat> kay MPI kahapon. Right, go. Good job. Good job. So, mga nag-sell half. Right, very good action. Right, selling half on MPI yesterday. That is what trading is. Right, ang laki ng panalo natin kay IS, um, MPI from this point sa support. Oh, sorry. Dito ko pa rin nire-recommend sa support. Eh. I've been re constantly recommending this. And then, yun, nag-10%. Went as high as 10%. Yun. So, most probably, nag-sell half ang mga tao dito kahapon. 9% gains is not bad. Alright? That's already take profits area for me. So, if you sold half, let's wait for it to um, pull back. Maybe at MA20. And then, let's buy it again at MA20 for MPI. Uh, I did recommend MPI a few days back. If ever, mag-sustain yung breakout niya. Somehow, hindi nag-sustain yung breakout niya. So, it's time to sell half. Right? Um... Sa mga pumasok, dapat cut loss. Kaya ayoko ng breakouts. And this is what I've been telling you guys. I really don't like breakouts because they tend to fail. Right? That's why mas maganda ang pullbacks. Alright. That was just too aggressive for me to recommend it up there. So, hindi na ako, um, ayoko gaano mag, ano, ma, ayoko gaano mag-recommend talaga ng breakouts. So, yun. Antayin natin yung pullback and let's, let's wait for the bounce before we wanna get in kay MPI. Right? So, yun. Si MPI... Um, wait lang muna tayo dyan, right? So, good job sa so nag-sell half kay MPI. That's good trading, trading ka sell John. Good job. Right, AGI po, um, Telsec and Picor. Um, Aji, Telsec, Picor. Right, si Aji, ang lakas ni Aji eh, right? Hindi ko to inano kahapon kasi out of position na pero lumipad pa rin eh. This is what I've been telling you. Right, si Aji, sabi ko sa inyo guys, that's, that stock is already out of position, right? Um, Pwede yung laruin ng breakout. Pero basically, you are already, uh, this is a missed opportunity already kasi, ay, hindi ko nare-recommend yan. It's already plus 3, no. Hindi, ito yung main, major resistance niya. Alright, so, breakout strategy would have been best for AGI. Si AGI, ay, yun nga pala, yun. The, uh, the past few days, right? So, breakout strategy yung maganda sana sa kanya. Problema kay AGI, yesterday, may pula siya. I didn't want to recommend this. Baka mag bumalik sa support. Right? And number two is, this is already out of position. I want you to be position traders. Kasi yun yung ginagawa ko. Doon ako successful sa position trading. So, this is, uh, for as position trader, wala po tayong position dyan. Ang pwedeng position dito is momentum trade. Because there's momentum right there. Nakikita nyo naman sa Bollinger Bands. There's momentum at uh, for AG. So, kung may momentum trade mo ito, that's good. Yun nga lang, with the kind of trading that I have, this is not for us. Right? I could be wrong, pwede pa yung umakyat because there's momentum. Yan, so, umakyat nga siya. But those position, those plays are already for momentum players. Right? If ever pumasok kayo dito at hindi naman kayo momentum trader, just, um, just get out right away on signs of weakness. Baka mag-pullback yan. Kasi mas malaki ang akyat, mas malaki momentum, mas grabe na ng pullback. So, ingat sa positions din yun, okay? Um, next up is... Ayun. Um, nga pala guys, again, please um, share the video. Pakishare po yung video sa Facebook ninyo, your Facebook walls. And also, sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe sa... Subscribe sa um, YouTube channel ko, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you will be updated sa mga um, tutorials and guides na linalabas natin and the daily grind which is every day. We're gonna have um, a Saturday uh, what do you call this? Uh, Saturday ep episodes po. That's for financial literacy. Abangan nyo po yan. Hindi lang po this Saturday kasi meron akong seminar. But next Saturday, um, Financial Freedom 101 is gonna have a new program which is focused on financial literacy, right? May pag-uusapan po tayo, money talk po naman tayo every Saturday. So, abangan niyo po yan. So, subscribe to the channel, please. Kasel, John, ayan, sulat ko yung muna yung um, picks mo. June Delejero, pasuyo po ng IDC. Si IDC nasa picks ko ngayon. Si Holsim din. Uy, maganda. 
see whole sim um, let's check out whole sim oops so let go see whole sim and see whole sim and sa sa recommendations ko mamaya na lang yung recommendations ko unahin ko po muna yung sa inyo karaoke ni Keno Sir Lloyd more, anong meron sa January 31 and possibility uh, to happen thanks Sir Lloyd actually may development lang for the backdoor um, backdoor uh, ano ni ISM uh, for the backdoor developments ni ISM ni Udena so let's see if may maganda at matuloy na um, I think they're gonna be finalizing it on December, on January 31 sa uh, stockholders meeting nila. Uh, finalizing everything and then once that's done, um, I think mag-hold muna sa ISM because ipaprocess na yung backdoor. Uh, so mag-hold muna. And then, I don't know how many days siya mag-hold but when it comes back, si Udena na siya. Right? So, but during that time, we're gonna be able to see the, ano, uh, the the numbers of Udena. So, let's see if maganda ba. Right? So, uh, may nag-comment kasi kanina if uh, meron daw ano si uh, Cole Financial about Udena. Uh, meron po ba kayong ano? Uh, meron po ba kayong link noon na linagay? Right? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Milano, 1.30 a.m. Good morning sa inyo dyan. Tingnan ko muna kung may nag-comment about that. Asa na? Um... Hmm, tignan natin. Uh, so, wala ako nakita na comments, right? So, guys, um, pakilagay po yung link. Um, someone said earlier na um, meron daw, ano, um, uh, research? Re uh, meron article si Cole Financial about um, Udena's, uh, uh, what they call this? Um, Udena's financials. Um, can you post that here? Karaoke ni Keno kay ISM po, Sir Lloyd. Ayan. Uh, yes, that's ano. Sir, title ng song, Ang Ganda, from June De Ligero. The title of the song is, uh, let me see. Malimutan <laughs> title eh. Um, it's from Exxon. Um, the title is Calling, right? Exxon Calling. Calling po ang title niyan. So, tinatawag ko po kayo pag yun yung music. Right? Eman, good morning, sir. Thoughts po sa M-Wide. Naipit kasi ako. Alright, let's check out M-Wide. Tulungan muna natin itong naipit. Alright. Uh, M-Wide, M-Wide, M-Wide. Nga pala, guys. Good news sa inyo. Alright, next week, I'm gonna be launching a program. This is gonna be free for everyone. Mag, ano po, I'm gonna have two schedules. I'll start with one schedule a day muna. And it's consultation for your portfolio, and it's a good a one hour, uh, one hour meeting lang with you. If you need help with your portfolio, maglalabas po ako ng schedule first come first serve puyon. Siguro around mga one in the afternoon. Uh, one in the afternoon, um, I'm gonna set a meeting. Kung sino man po ang kailangan ng tulong, oops, sorry, kailangan ng tulong support nila. And um. Just set a schedule with me. That's every weekdays as long as I'm available. Um, ano po? Uh, maglalagay ko lang ng schedule. Sino po mauna? Uh, we'll, I'm gonna, we're gonna meet in Skype. Either Skype or Facebook. Okay lang yun, but I refer, uh, prefer Skype. Yan, maganda lang po kayo ng Skype. And then we're gonna talk about your port, what we can do. And that will be for free. So sa lahat ng mga may, may kailangan um, about uh, with their port, um, yun, magsaset ako ng meeting sa inyo, right? So, abangan nyo po yan. I'm gonna be posting something about that. So, that's good news for everyone. Um, si M-Wide, and si M-Wide, naipit kay M-Wide, um, somehow M-Wide broke the support. So, dapat nag-cut loss ka na kay M-Wide, right? If you are trading it, right? We, we did look at M-Wide at this support right here. Kaso nga lang nag-fail siya, right? The, fi the support fail. This are, uh, this is normal, right? Normal yan. Uh, nangyayari sa market yan. Um, it failed the support. Price action, bumabagal naman. But we have a sec secondary support here. Um, if ipit ka, magkano ba ipit mo? Alright, let's see how much the price is. It, this is already negative 3 point, uh, and negative 4 from support. Yeah, medyo malaki-laki na yan. So most probably, yung ipit mo dito nasa 8% if you just entered here. So pinakamalaki yung 8%. Uh, medyo malaki po yan. Wag mo na lang po, ay sorry, uh, here. So, 
Ito yung chart. Um, so, most probably, ang ipit mo, negative 4, siguro nakapasok ka at around this area, um, negative 6%. Right? Negative 6%. I will stray. That's still tolerable for me. If negative six lang naman, um, if you're a trader, if you were trading this, uh, medyo yeah, cut loss, uh, kind of shaky, medyo masakit, but yeah, cut loss mo lang to dito. Why will I ref? Uh, why do I recommend cutting losses? Right? Kasi number one, yes, may support dito, Sir Lloyd. Baka mag bounce sa support. Yes, baka mag bounce. That's good. If Pwede mong gamitin yung support na ito. Anyways, malapit lang naman. Baka mag-bounce, di ba? But ang concern kasi ng isang trader, this is our lesson yesterday, what if hindi mag-bounce at lumaki ang talo mo, right? And it goes back down to the major support. So, that's the bigger concern that we are after. So, if you are trading this, yun na lang, if you're trading this, you just cut your losses. Baka bumaba pa lalo eh. Because that's our concern. Pero if you're in it for investing naman, kung gusto mo investor lang, ka lang naman kay MWide, anyways, this is a good company. I'd say, on the next bounce, you just buy more on the support pag nag-bounce. So, buy more to average down. At least bumaba ka dito. Right? And then, pag umakyat yan ulit, then you're gonna be in a good company. Yes, aakit po yun sa MWide. That's a very good company. Isa yan sa mga trusted ng Philippines na company na develop ng airports and everything. Ang ganda po ng trabaho ni MWide. So, um, if you're an investor, yeah, just buy more. Um, that's for Eman Monet Lagman. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Happy Friday, SCC and SC, uh, SSI, please. Alright, so SCC and SSI. Uh, SSI is in my picks kasi. Si SCC, hindi ko muna linagay, right? Um, kasi medyo... Um, bakit nga ba hindi ko linagay si SEC, right? So, medyo wala pang green eh. Kahapon, still accumulating at that support. Um, it's already forming a higher low support. So, pag nag-green yan, any time today, uh, when if it sustains at the end of the day, you can do end of the day trading for SEC. Right? So, yan. Ito yung problema kay SEC. I'm just waiting for a green before I wanna recommend SEC. But MA20 is already holding. So, you can be aggressive anyways. Overall, nasa baba pa naman yan. So, still very cheap as of the moment. We already have this a divergence right here. So, bababa ang presyo. Sorry. Bababa ang presyo. And then, price, uh, RSI is al has already been going up right here. Yan. So, <clears throat> yan. It's already... Uh, showing us a good bottom si SEC. So, you can be aggressive here. Napakamura pa naman ni SEC as of the moment. So, you don't really have to win it all. So, overall, this position is still okay. Pag nag-green yan today, pwede nyo po itest yan. Right, si SEC. Right. SSI naman, that's on my picks today. Pag-usapan natin yan muna. Um, VVD, Amavi, pakicheck po sana kay Vita, NPIP. Uy, si Vita. Ang taas na ni Vita. Di ba? Nag-pullback ba si Vita kahapon? Ah, nag-pullback pala si Vita. So, um, yun, si Vita, just follow the trend line. Simple as that. Ganun lang si Vita, right? So, si Vita, nirecommend yan natin dito sa baba. Um, we talked about this a few days back. Just follow the trend line and then there it is. Umakit na naman. So, untayin po natin umalik dyan pag nag-bounce anytime soon sa MA20. Look at MA20, guys. This is why I love MA20. Uh, ayan. Kung saan nagbabounce ang isang stock, usually it's at MA20. This yellow line right here, dyan nagbabounce ang presyo. That's why I love MA20. Si Vita, pag may nakita kayong green sa MA20, pasukin nyo po yan. Kaso nga lang, the best sana is dito sa baba. Eh. Right? So anyways, wala tayong magagawa. If you're still looking at Vita, antay nyo po yung bounce sa MA20. Um, so yun, Rodel Hinaham... Hi, hi, uh, Himang Pang. Alright, good morning po. Um, Mary Grace Dalo. Good morning po. Pacheck po. Kai PIP. Si PIP. Pinapacheck. Alright, si PIP. Look at that support. Very good. Sorry. Look at this support. It's holding on strong. Alright, so don't worry about PIP yet. Alright, nasa baba pa rin naman tayo. Um, massive selling yesterday. Good. Uh, may volume sa selling. So, sa so mga hindi pa nakapasok, um, tsaka, antay niyo po si PIP dito sa bounce before you wanna get in. This is okay. This is normal market movement. Una natin tong nirecommend dito si PIP. Umakyat siya. Doing a pullback. Bounce at MA20. This is our technical analysis. So, our technical analysis tells us na um, uh, it might go continue going up. Somehow, it failed. So, mali po tayo. That's okay. That happens in the stock market. Dapat nagka-cut loss tayo below, M uh, below MA20. If ever, nag-buy more kay Jen or Jen kay pumasok. So, cut loss there. Um, next support is around here at this area. So, yung mga hindi pa nakapasok, just wait for it to bounce. Pag nag-bounce yan si PIP, that will be a good entry point for the stock. Right? So, 
Antayin po natin yung bounce kay PIP. Alright? So, ayan. So, PIP, antayin tayo ng bounce. Um, Raymond Arano, Sir Lloyd, good morning po sa inyo and to your family. SSI, MPI, STR. Uh, sa, ti sa tingin nyo po, po ba mag pullback na si SMPH? Pakibati po. Ang anak ko si Sian and Cyril Arano. Kahapon, nag-bounce na si SMPH. Ang ganda kaya ng bounce si SMPH. So, that was the pullback. Look at that. MA20 na naman tayo. So, good bounce for uh, SMPH. Kaso nga lang, um, kung papasukin niyo po yan, I don't, wanna, I don't want you to get in already. Right? So, um, tolerable pa rin naman. Um, if, you're, uh, if you're a, what they call this, if you're an investor in it, this is the trend line. Look at the trend line. Doon rin nagsusustain ang trend line. Diyan po tayo pumapasok. Dapat. So, just get in near the trend line as much as possible for SMPH. Right? Overall, napakaganda pa rin naman ni SMPH as a company. Yung ibang mga requests mo, pag-usapan natin in a bit. Si SSI anyways is in my recommendation. Si MPI, nag-antay lang tayo ng bounce. Or at least down just to be sure. Ayan. So, that's for Raymond. and. Uh, John Garcia, good morning Ralph JVR, morning sir, to go and X sir, thank you, so I'll write this down si to go, tsaka yung X natin to go and X ayan, si X uh, Noel Minano, good morning sir pa-check naman yung Del Monte FB for Del Monte, does it matter if it's uh, illiquid stock, even if technical analysis is good if you're a trader yeah, you you tend to focus more on the technical analysis, right, so if the technical analysis is doing well because it's the price action. It's what the buyers and tellers are telling you. So, okay naman siya as a trader. I don't recommend that as a uh, as an investor. Plus, iba kasi ako eh. It's, I'm, a middle, I'm in the middle of a trader and an investor. So, isa sa bias ko talaga is training talaga. If, if ever napapansin nyo, never ko po na-recommend yan sa Del Monte. <clears throat> it's because yun, uh, fundamentals. You know my bias, number one is fundamentals. So, Yung mga good fundamentals na stocks ang tinitrade ko. Hindi po ako nagtitrade gaano ng mga stocks na hindi gaano, um, hindi gaano, what you call this, hindi gaano fundamentally good. Um, that is because I'm a position trader. Hindi po ako, um, if you're a, a daily trader talaga na trade every day, technical analysis, you you tend to focus more on technical analysis kasi naglalaro kayo especially doon sa mga basura ng mga stocks, right? So, yun yung focus niyo. It really depends on you, right? Noel Minano, ako kasi is, I don't want to recommend it because I'm a position trader and my bias is in fundamentals. Ambrosio de Fontorum, good morning Sir Lloyd, malaking bagay po yung ginagawa niyo lalo na sa tulad kong newbie, happy to help Abeb Shebebs, alright, ang cool ng name eh, Abeb Shebebs, alright, good morning Sir Lloyd, paano po nalalaman yung projected opening price, tingnan niyo po sa, what you call this, sa, um, brokerage niyo po, depende yan sa brokerage eh, alright, so, uh, tingnan ko sa, ano, Ay, hindi pa, hindi pa lalabas yun ngayon eh. At 9am, if yung yung broker ninyo um, shows you that, then that's good. Uh, may mga brokers kasi na hindi lumalabas yan eh. Alright, so si 2 Trade Asia lumalabas po yan, makikita nyo po yan. Tristan Percada, sir, ano po effect ng financial report ng Udena sa C at sa CLC at ISM? Po, yan. Um, I did post something kahapon about, uh, sa Billionaires Club about Udena's... Uh, Financial reports, right? So, financial reports ni Udena. Ito. Let me, let me share this to you. And po, I just post this. This is not verified actually, right? So, hindi ko po na-verify pa ito if totoo ba ito or hindi. But at least we are seeing this revenues niya. Uh, I hope you can see this. Hindi naman klaro. Uh, so, most probably hindi rin klaro ito sa inyo, sa inyo side. Let me see if I can zoom. Ayan, nakaka-zoom naman pala. Right, let me see if I can zoom this. So, revenues niya, um, 2015, 2016, 2017 is going up. Net profit niya, this is in billion already kasi uh, amount in PHP millions in it. So, net niya, 2015 is uh, 899 million. Um, bumaba on 2016, 779 million. But on 2017, lumaki to 1.3 billion. So, this is good for you then, ah. Um, these are good numbers if ever totoo man ito, right? If ever totoo man ito, I, I, this, I haven't verified this kasi, right? So, yun, yung liabilities nila, 15, uh, 15 amount in millions, this is 15 
uh, 15 billion. Is that billion? Correct me if I'm wrong. Kasi 15,000 eh. So, that's in million. So, most probably, malaki yan. 28 million and then 65 billion um, current, current, um, current na liabilities nila. So, medyo malaki utang nila. Um, but this is understandable because of the expansions that it's been doing. So, I hope totoo ito. Um, total liabilities nila. Ayan, andyan, makikita niyo po. Ang laki po na liabilities nila for 2017. Um... It's because of the expansions that it has been doing. Um, if you, um, if you look at utang, kasi, right? Um, utang may not be good, especially in a business, de ba? But you look at the bits business that is it is opening. Baka nag open sila ng business na wala silang alam. Delikado yon, right? That's a uh, that's something that you should be scared about. But if they're uh, expanding naman kasi on something like their expertise already. For example, Udena. Binili nila si TransAsia. So, that's good. Bumili sila ng port sa Davao. That's good. They are already into that businesses. So, that's okay. Binili, binili nila si Tugo. That's good. Because shipping na sila noon pa eh, Right? And logistics na sila noon pa eh, diba? So, those are good expansions for me. Right? Si 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 Phoenix um, si Dennis Uy binili niya rin si Bumili siya ng stakes kay PXP. That's good. In line pa rin sa negosyo niya. So, those are expansions, right? And, I don't think mahirapin sila for managing these, uh, for, for managing these projects na in-expand nila. So, those uh, liabilities, that's okay. That's called leveraging. Especially if you're expanding on businesses that you are already good at. Right? Kaya po, um, Kasi yung banko, hindi, hindi, hindi po basta-basta nagpapautang, right? And you have to present a business proposal before bibigay sa yung utang. And then once the bank sees that you're doing good in your business and this is an expansion for your business, bibigay po nila yan. Yan, so credit ratings kasi tinitignan yung performance mo as a businessman on your field. And that's good, right? Um, kaya po yung mga, mga banks are letting him borrow. borrow. Kasi yung expansions niya naman is are things na they're known for already. So, they are, kampande po yung mga banko na nagpapautang sa kanila, na magpautang sa kanila. Um, stockholders equity, key performance, indicators, gross profit ratio is 11%. Laki po ng profit nila. Lumalaki utang nila but at the same time, lumalaki naman yung um, revenues nila. So, that's good. Right? That's always good. Uh, EBITDA margin, um, net profit margin, right, 2.8, 2.5, right, debt to equity ratio, 4.0, right, so these are good indicators, so debt to equity ratio, maganda pa rin, ito yung sinasabi ko, um, lumalaki yung, um, uh, lumalaki utang nila but overall yung, um, yung equity naman ng company is lumalaki rin naman, so that's good, right, so if this is true, then that's good for the company, uh, that's gonna be very good for uh, or, what do you call this for uh, Udena once it is uh, already out on the public out to the public so tingnan po natin sana makukuha po natin yung official talaga not really sure this is official so yun so yun po effect ng no financial report oh. that's uh, that's from Tristan Cecil Pange good morning thank you so much for bringing that up yung, yung sa Udena Isaac Sir Lloyd any thoughts on or and what happened to now not to now <laughs> so yun um or naman, recommended that yesterday and umakit naman. So, if ever gusto nyo pong pumasok, just wait for you to do a breakout. May malakas po na resistance. Si Or, look at that. Right, so we have a very strong resistance right here. Hopefully, hopefully mabasag niya. But I recommended Or yesterday at the bounce at MA20. Right, so congratulations sa mga pumasok. Wag nyo na pong pasukin sa mga hindi pa nakapasok. Right, so let just let it just break out first before you wanna get in. Or, or has a very good development sa country um, natin. Right? Ang for a company, it's doing well. Ang ganda po ng mga expansions ni Or and hindi lang po siya um, ano, uh, holdings na po siya ngayon. Hindi po siya mining lang. Right? Ngayon, holdings na po siya. Dami na pong projects. It's already venturing into energy. So, that's very good for Or. So, uh, that's why I've been recommending Or. Bilhin nyo po. Bilhin nyo po. Especially for investors. Um, bilhin nyo po sa um dips niya and then this was the best dip and dito sa main support niya and then there it is umaakit na so that was a very good bottom for or okay now naman and now 
MA20, right? This is normal for a stock, guys. Um, may nagsasabi na may bad news daw eh. But I'm not really sure ano. Hindi, hindi ako nakapanood ng news kay now eh. Been very busy lately. So, that's that happens, right? This is, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, guys. Let me zoom in on this. Sorry. Yan. So, before that, we are seeing this ascending triangle. Diba? We have an ascending triangle right here. Right, um, actually, that's a flag pattern. So, we're seeing a flag pattern. Ang ganda ng volume dito, sorry. Ang ganda ng volume dito. So, people were thinking na, o oh, baka mag-breakout ito kasi ang ganda ng volume, di ba? So, hopefully mag-breakout. Yan, plus, plus, hinahype pa ng ibang mga tao. So, yun, akala talaga nila mag-breakout. But, my lesson for you is, trade what you see. If you think is this is gonna break out, and may resistance tayo dyan. If you think this is gonna break out because of the volume, and then you enter, then you're wrong. If you think this is gonna break out, that's right. Diba? Tama naman. There's a big possibility that this, this is gonna do a breakout kasi it's backed up by volume. The climb the price is backed up by volume. We have a resistance here. But again, in these patterns, the confirmation, always wait for the confirmation. The confirmation of this bullish move is a breakout. Hindi po siya nag-breakout. This is why I don't want you to get in if sa tingin nyo magbe-breakout yan. Kasi baka bumulusok at matake profits kayo. I don't like those positions that are up there. Malaki po ang chances nyo maipit. Kaya mas ma ma mainam na magsimula kayo doon sa baba. I recommended now dito sa baba. Right? I, don't for I forgot when it was. But when now created this support right here. So yes, I was sure. I'm sure. Dito ko po na-recommend yan. There it is. Lumipad na si now. That's 35% gains. Siyempre, take profits na yan. Uy. So, kaya, nagtitake profits na yung mga tao. Kaya bumagsak si now. So, that's what happened with now. Right? Those are normal market movements. Dap dapat alam nyo na to by now. Right? So, yung ganito mga movement ni stock market. Sa mga newbies, yeah, um, I'm just introducing you of the concept of that. Wag, um, ma ma mababasa nyo po ito. Trade what you see, not what you think. If you think it's gonna break out and then you get you trade it, that's wrong, right? Always wait for the breakout when you see it. Um, antay nyo po, yung makita nyo po yung breakout. Before you trade it, okay? Um, Shabel MWC, sir, it's good. It's all my recommendations for today. Um, yan, um, so, Isaac, I, Isaac, I hope uh, that was clear. Marlo Aquino, um, kano ano mo si Carlo Aquino. <laughs> Hi, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, Sir. Sa now po, pumasok ako 7.7. Close at 7.1. Any tips po um, will do, will I do? Thanks po. Alright, 7.7. Kay now? Sir, sa now, pumasok ako at 7.7. This is, we are at 4. Point, ano? We are at 4.14. It closed at 4.14. Um, Marlo, can you please clear? Eh, I-clear mo nga yung comment mo. Kasi si Nao, 3.71 eh. Ah, 3.70. 3.7 siguro ang ibig mo sabihin. 3.70. Hindi rin eh. <laughs> it's so, not really sure what your entries are. So, um, just comment it again. JR, take, prof take profits na ba Bloom? Sir Lloyd, si Bloom. Ayan, I've been waiting for this pullback kay Bloom. Yes, take profits sa tayo kay Bloom. Right? Pwede nyo pong, pwede po kayo mag-take profits sa kay Bloom. Right? Let it fall down. Right? Ang ganda na kayo ng akyat niyan. Guys, huwag po kayo may inlove sa stocks ninyo. This is a very good point kay Bloom. We, we talked about this technical analysis before. Over and over again, pababa ang presyo. RSI is going up. This is a good entry point. MA20 bounce. So, simple technical analysis. Inuulit ko po yun sa inyo. And then, ngayon, ang laki na ng panalo. Congratulations sa mga pumalo, pumasok kay Bloom. That's 49% gains. Time to take profits sa mga pumasok sa baba and even those who entered here at this point on this pullback. Take profits na po yan. Right? RSI is already overbought. Let it drop muna and then let it stabilize and then before we wanna get in again kay Bloom. So, um, iwas mo na kay Blue, masyado mataas na. Right, Beng, um, um, ano na, take profits na kay Jan. Congratulations, JR, sa um, panalo mo kay Bloom. Getting better. Good job. Good morning, sir. Pa-interpret naman po ng financial report ni Udena na ipo sa TBC. We talked about that already. Will Rainer, Valencia, good morning, sir. Tingin mo kay Didi. Right, I'll write down Didi. 
Yeah, so let's stop muna. It's already um, 9 in the morning. I'm gonna go to my recommendations first before natin daanan yung mga um, questions ninyo. Right, so before that, we wanna thank our sponsors, 2Trade Asia. Um, they've been very generous sa ating mga, um, what do you call this, sa uh, ating uh, mission, right, to educate uh, Filipinos for financial literacy. Hindi lang po sila tumutulong for stock market. Even our advocacy for financial literacy, tumutulong po si 2Trade Asia. They've been very generous, so thank you so much. 2Trade Asia, if you're looking for a broker, 2Trade Asia po. Check nyo po si 2Trade Asia. It's a very fast, reliable broker. Ang ganda po ng support. Um, support nila pag office hours. Ang bilis. Ang bilis um, sumagot pag may office lang. Right? So, um, also, um, if yung mobile app po nila, right? If you're a casual trader na, hindi naman kayo nakaupo lagi sa computer ninyo. Um, lumalabas kayo every now and then. So, check out 2Trade Asia at 2TradeAsia.com. Right? So, also, eToro, guys, um, check out eToro. Sa mga followers ko po, especially mga OFWs, Itoro po, ayan. Itoro. Si Google ko, it's already $42. So, congratulations sa mga nagka-copy trade sa akin. Uh, you're already, we're already earning 5.26%. Ayan. So, check out Itoro, guys. Um, kagandahan ng Itoro para po sa mga OFWs. If you don't know how to trade, if wala po yung oras mag-trade, Wag nyo na pong pilitin mag-trade. Okay? Get in eToro. Just open an account. Look for people you like. Meron po dito sa copy people. Just click on this area right here. Copy people. And then look for people dito. This is public already. Meron silang nire-recommend. Um, people from everywhere. Gusto nyo Pilipinas lang. Any market. Um, gained at least 10%. During the last 12 months, there's a filter there and then go for search and then lalabas po dyan ang mga magagaling na traders. All right. Happy birthday to Neil Bersamin. All right. Student ko po noong December. Um, happy birthday, Neil Bersamin. All right. Maligayang kaarawan po sa'yo. Um, Christian, like for example, Christian hold um, returns for the last 6 months, 50% po siya. So, this is, let's try this guy. If you click on this guy. You can see stats, 6.5 na sa January. Uy, natalo niya ako. 5% ako this January. Um, pero makikita niyo po yung stats niya. Um, positive 4% sa December, negative 3. Positive 22 sa October, positive 31 sa September. That's a lot. Right? Ang laki po niyan. So, if gusto niyo po yung stats niya, if tingnan niyo po yung portfolio niya, makikita niyo po dito. Right? This is the um, port of this guy. If gusto niyo po yung mga pinapasukan niya, then you just click on copy this person. Trader cannot be copied. Uh, I don't know why. Ah, uh, hindi pala siya. So, but, and again, you can always look for people there. For example, this guy, si Zizuan in Chiksha. So, his stats, positive 2% sa so January, positive 3 sa so December, um, his portfolio, and then you can copy trade him. Just put how much amount you want to use if to, uh, to copy him. For example, $1,000 and then edit trend. Ito yung automatic stop loss. Pag natalo ka na ng $156 sa so $1,000 mo, then automatically masastop po yung pagkakopy mo sa kanya. So, pa pati sa pag-copy trade, may cut loss ka. Right? <laughs> so, let other people do the trading for you. Right? So, this is very good para sa mga hindi marunong mag-trade at walang oras mag-trade mag na lang po kayo. Instead na pumunta kayo dito, ang dami po kasi mga gurus dyan na nag-offer. Ako na lang po, mag-handle um, ng ports ninyo, right? For 20% of the profits. Dito po, wala po, right? Wala pong kukunin sa profits ninyo sa eToro, right? Sa eToro, bibigyan na si ZSQ1 sa makukuha nila na broker fees. ba may broker fees? Instead na kinikip ni eToro yung broker fees, they give percentage of it kay ZSU1. Right? So, nakakapera si ZSU1 kasi um, tinutulungan niya kayo. Kayo, nakakapera din from ZS, ZSU1. And then, at the expense of eToro. Instead of kay eToro mapunta, binigay, binibigay po nila a huge chunk of it for ZSU1. So, it's a win-win situation for everyone. This is a very good platform for you guys. If well, hindi kayo marunong mag-trade, dito na lang po kayo sa eToro. Anyways, yan. Um, please use an eToro. Uh, if you wanna create an eToro account, use my link at the video description. Meron po dyan link ko for eToro. Please use that. That is gonna be a very huge help sa akin para po mag-sponsor pa si eToro sa akin pag maraming gumawa ng account <laughs> using my link and para mag-sponsor po siya. 
Why do I want sponsors? February 2. Seminar ko dyan sa Manila. I'm gonna teach you how to trade. That's 100 for good for 100 students. Itoro is sponsoring it. Ang charge ko na lang po sa seminar na yan is 1,500 pesos na lang. Napakamura po ng seminar na yan. One of the cheapest, I think, dito sa Pilipinas for, for an advanced trading seminar. This is why I want to look for sponsors para po makapagturo po ko sa inyo ng mura. Right? So please, if you want to create an account, um, use my link dyan sa baba. Alright? So, itoro. Uh, February, speaking of the seminar, February 2, I'm almost full. Right? Almost full na po tayo. So, wag po kayo magpapahuli. Grab the opportunity. Check out my post about the February 2 seminar. Ayan po. Um, sayang po yung opportunity dyan. Join that. Right? Napakamura po na seminar. And it's gonna be very fruitful for you. If you're in Cebu, Bukas, we're gonna have a seminar in Cebu, 1 to 5 p.m. At baka mag to 6 p.m. But yes, um, check out my poster about that. It's the pre-sinulog uh, seminar. Kung andito po for the sinulog, grab that opportunity para at least fr fruitful talaga yung pagpunta ninyo dito for the sinulog. Um, yun, it's lang. Last lang na plug ko, guys. Sa, pupunta po tayo sa UAE. Hindi po Saudi. Nagkakamali ako lagi uh, sa Dubai at Saudi. Right? Um, my, I'm, I'm very poor at geography. <laughs> so yeah, pupunta po tayo sa Dubai. And Dubai po. And that's uh, February 15, February 16 sa UAE po tayo. Wala pang venue for UAE. UAE. So Dubai is the Filip Filip uh, P uh, Fiesta Pinoy. Diyan po tayo from uh, 11.30 to 5 po tayo dyan. Um... Sa UAE, we're still um, working on the venue. Um, next up is Qatar po sa February 22. Right? That's a Friday again. Um, I'll meet you there. I'm gonna, let's improve, i-polish po natin yung trading natin. I'm going to teach you how to trade. Right? So, see you there. Uh, just send me a message for the registration para ma-reserve ko po kayo ng seats. I'll meet you there. See you po dyan, guys. Bibsi, good morning. Ayan. Um, Raul Tomale. Um, from Riyadh, good morning, sir. How about food? Yeah, it's ulat natin yan. I'll go to my recommendations for today. Number one is SSI. Yan po, si SSI confirmed the support. Right? Ito yung green na inintay ko kay SSI. I didn't want to be aggressive kay SSI. But overall, that's a good support. And agree na po si SSI, backed up by good volume. We did talk about the volume yesterday. Kahit wala pa yung green na yan. You're already seeing the accumulation right there. And there it is, na green na si SSI. Tada! Time to buy. Alright, so SSI po. Test nyo na po yan. Alright, kukulitin ko na naman kayo dyan. Alright, FNI. Si FNI, tada, may magandang volume si FNI kahapon with a good, uh, with a good, ano, uh, what the good, uh, what do you call this? Um, Nawag dyan? With the good news. So FNI, this has a bottomed out already. Technical analysis na ituturo ko sa inyo. Lagi ko pong um, kinukulit sa inyo yung technical analysis na ito. This is how you know if uh, the stock has possibly bottomed out, pababa yung presyo, uh, but uh, the RSI is going up. That is called a uh, bullish divergence using RSI. That's an advanced RSI technique. If you don't know that yet, please go to my video about RSI para matutunan nyo po yan. So, yan, si FNI... Pwede nang pasukin um, si FNI. PSB. Right, so PSB naman, I did recommend this yesterday. I'm recommending it again. I, I said it well, it might do a breakout and a breakout na nga. The volume, it's been backed up by volume. You can use a breakout strategy. And overall, napakaliit po ng risk ninyo from this point to that point. It's just 1.44%. Yan, sayang po yung bottom na yan for uh, PSB. Right, so you can test that out if you want to. Um, next up is CLI, Sibulan Masters. And sabi, ito, isa sa mga recommendations ko na buy on the dips. Si Sibulan Masters, I told you before, nag-dip siya dito. This was a very good buy. Look at the RSI. And then look at that si CLI. Umakit na. So, right now, ganda po ng company na ito, guys. I tell you. if matutul Especially if matutuloy yung federalism and it will empower the provinces. Si CLI, nakaposition na po dito sa Cebu. Nakaposition na po dun sa Davao. The major, uh, the major cities na that will be greatly affected with for the uh, what do you call this uh, 
federalism, nakapwesto na po si CLI, nauna sila. So, that's gonna be a very booming industry for them. MA20 bounce, yan po. Bakit ko po gustong gusto ang MA20? Look at that bounce. Andyan po tayo sa MA20 pa. So, CLI, I'm recommending CLI to buy. That's the next dip that we can enter in. Next up is Fen. Alright, inintay ko po itong bounce ni Fen. And then, there's the bounce. Yan, pwede na natin itesting ito si Fen. Medyo malayo kasi MA20, so kontra ingat lang. So, if you wanna enter Fen, um, strict cut loss po tayo dyan sa etong support na ito. Uh for fen right dito ta dito natin yung support dito yung support natin if ever bumaba man yan but we already have a bounce for fen so pwede na natin pasukin yan si fen right next up kay fen is bdo right si bdo guys has been sustaining the support ang bagal ni investagrams ngayon na right has been sustaining the support a good price action Overall, um, this is a very good company to get into. Napakamura pa po ni BDO. That's with the best bank in the Philippines. Right? So, BDO, nasukin nyo na po yan. Right? We are on the uptrend line already. We're getting near that uptrend line. So, pwede na natin i-testing ito si BDO. Right? Anytime soon. Uh, darating na tayo dyan. We are on the uptrend line already. We're seeing good volume. Uh, we're seeing good volume for, for BDO still. Right, so, yan. Video. Pasokin nyo na po yan. I'm recommending that for today. Sayang yung position niya. Wilcon. And si Wilcon, my favorite technical analysis, then MA20 bounce. Uh, need not to explain on that further. Uh, that's the uptrend line right there. And so, so Wilcon po. Right. Actually, ito yung unang uptrend line niya. Did break that uptrend line there, but I usually use MA20 as my uptrend line kasi. Eh. So, yeah. MA20 bounce for Wilcon. Uptrend po yung stock na yan. Very good position right now for Wilcon. MA20 bounce. That's good for Wilcon. Next up is AC. And since sabi ko sa, sa Wilcon, wag niyo po habulin sa taas. Let it fall down before you wanna get in. Then that's that was the moment it fell down. And then there it is. Si AC naman, very good confirmation bounce for AC. I'm recommending AC for today. Overall, napakamura po ni Ayala Corp pa rin. We are at that levels ulit kung saan tayo nagsimulang pumasok. So, AC, yan. Pwede nyo pumasukin yan si Ayala Corporation IDC. Lastly, sa recommendations ko, IDC has been bouncing on MA20. So, you can test out this MA20. We have good price action already. Confirmations at that, MA, at that uh, MA20 bounces. So, use MA20 as your support for IDC if you wanna get in. I'll go to your requests now. Alright, um, si PSE Warzone, meron siyang ano, Sir, to trade Asia, pwede 5k initial from Gerald Iris. Actually, 25k po yung initial ni to trade Asia. But I tell you guys, it's napaka worth it po. Um, liit lang ng 5k na yan. Um, yun nga lang, uh, you, you, that's the advantage of being my student, pwede kayo mag-open ng 5k. Uh, so, mag-join lang po kayo sa seminar ko para maka-open kayo ng 2 Trade Asia na 5K. Uh, yun yung, can you message um, 2 Trade Asia? Baka ongoing pa yung ano. Alam ko sa December lang kasi yung promo na yun. Eh, baka mag, pwede pa yung mag-open. Right? 2 Trade Asia has a Facebook page. Ask them. Right? Um, sabi ni Sir Lloyd, uh, sabihin, sabihin nyo lang ganito. Sabi po ni Sir Lloyd, uh, may promo po kayo na 5K opening. Can I still open? Right? Try to message them. Right? It doesn't hurt if you ask. Right? Try to ask them if Ganun. Gamitin yung pangalan ko. Baka makapag-open pa kayo. But I can't, I cannot promise you. Um, yan. I've been talking to 2 Asia and they're, they're gonna be sponsoring my classes. Uh, I'm gonna meet them end of this month. Isa po sa mga pag-usapan namin is all my students, lahat po ng magiging students ko will have this privilege of opening 2 Asia at 5K forever. So, yan. <laughs> so, that's the, that's the perk. Um, uh, uh, that will, 2 Trade Asia will be giving us. So, mag-join lang po kayo ng seminar. Right? So, I'll, I'll, fi I'll be finalizing that. If ever that happens, then that will be very beneficial sa mga students ko. So, yun. Um, sige, so, so, wala namang question so far. I'm gonna be continuing. Um, Antic Coach pa, uh, you copy trades itoro. An ano yung Antic Coach? Uh, mag-bounce ata si Yan Sinao. Paano po ba mag-withdraw sa eToro? Um, pwede nyo pong, uh, there's a withdrawal process if ever, ilalagay nyo lang po kung saan nyo po gusto kong il ilabas ang pera. It can put it back to your credit card if you want to. Lalagyan ng funds ang credit card mo. Lalaki ang credit limit mo. 
you can withdraw that. Um, pwede rin sa debit card mo, anong debit card ang ginamit mo, babalik lang sa debit card mo, so the bank that's handling the debit card, or pwede nyo po i-input yung bank ninyo, ipapadala po nila. Sana meron seminar sa Zamboanga, Hope, hopefully soon. Uh, sir, clear ko lang, pasensya na, mali, oh yeah, type ko, Nina, third, eh, 3.77, close 3.71 pero hopefully ma-sustain yung projected opening now at 3.9 any tips po thank you um dapat cut loss yun eh I really can't tell right now kasi medyo mataas na for me now is already overpriced I'm gonna be opening uh, now uh, unahin natin to siya guys kasi medyo naipit siya right? so 3.77 ang pasok mo um and then nasa 3.71 na at 3.71 ang pasok mo is 3.77 right so negative 1.71 percent pa lang naman no no 3.77 right so that's still tolerable right um there's ma20 right there use ma20 as your support if ever mag break siya ng ma20 then you cut loss please mag cut loss po kayo right so now we'll go to the request and then si eei EEI, it's 916. Bilisan ko po ito, guys. So, EEI, is, um, bumalik sa support niya right here. So, let's see if EEI sustains that support. This is a very strong and good support for EEI. Pag nag-bounce si EEI, pasukin po natin yan. Anytime soon, baka mag-bounce yan. Uh, mind you guys, look at the volume. It's already starting to pick up. Hindi pa anong ganong kalakihan. But at these levels right here, we're seeing good volume already. So, just wait for it to bounce at that support. If that happens and we have a solid support for EEI, pwede natin i-test by yan pag nag-bounce sa support. P-Core, we talked about P-Core already. Just wait for it to do uh, to make a bounce. Ang ganda na ng volume ni B-Core. Uh, P-Core, nag-accumulate na yan. So, pwede nyo pasukin yan pag nag-bounce. SCC. Uh, si SCC, just wait for the green before you want to enter. But overall, si SCC, napakamura pa rin po. So, SCC, and just wait for the green. Uh, nagsusustain naman yung support niya. So, that's good for SCC. IRC. and si IRC, nag-break ng support kahapon main support niya. But the secondary support is holding on. So, this is really very tricky for IRC. Kaya po, sabi ko po sa inyo, I'll just get in IRC if you are... Um, uh, if you are under the uh, uh, after the fundamentals of IRC, just test buy. If ever it goes down, you just buy more. IRC overall is a good company, right? Um, look at that kahabon. Nagbebentahan kasi natakot ng mga tao. Binili rin lang <laughs> ng mga nag-aabang kay IRC. So, this is really tricky for IRC. So, this is why I want to tell you, just do a test buy. If ever it goes down, you, then you just buy more, right? Overall, ang fundamentals ni IRC with the future projects, ang ganda naman eh. So, hold on to the fundamentals kasi yun yung rason bakit pumasok tayo kay IRC naman in the first place. Tell naman, si Tell, um, dito natin sa baba, ni-recommend yan. Uh, I don't wanna recommend Tell right now baka si, um, there's a resistance, nagpa-flag pattern pa naman siya. I wanna wait for it to do breakout before I wanna recommend Tell. Um, Picor, we talked about Picor already. RCI, RCI is looking good. Ang ganda ng support ni RCI. We're already seeing volume, right? O nga pala, no? Ito si RCI. Yun nga lang problema ko. The fundamentals kasi. RCI has been showing us big negatives for uh, the past few months. Right? So, I don't really want to recommend RCI. But the technical analysis is telling us this is already doing well. Look at this right here. Sideways ang presyo. Um, sideways ang presyo niya and that support. But RSI is already starting to go up. Uh, no, it's not very very clear. But the support is going strong. The volume is already starting to pick up at that level. So, I guess this is a good bottom for RCI if you're looking at it. It's just that I don't want to recommend it because of the shaky fundamentals of RCI. Primex naman. Mm, look at Primex. Still went back to that support. And then it's holding that on to that support. Again, pag na green to today, I will be recommending Primex again. Good volume at that level. So, um, nagsisimula ni si Primex. It's, this just needs patience talaga. So, Primex, um, still good. I'm just waiting for a good green confirmation before I want to recommend Primex again. ISM, still, sabi ko po sa inyo, just follow this trend line. Bumili lang po kayo kasi baka pag nangyari na may magandang news kay ISM, magkahabulan na, hindi kayo makakapasok, mafofomo kayo, pumasok kayo doon sa taas na. Test buy po dito. I'll keep telling you that test buy lang. Right? Test buy and then, if it goes down, then you just buy more sa baba. If it goes up, at least you're already in the trade. Hindi po kayo maiinggit kasi at least you're gaining on the amount that you are willing to risk. 
right? So, test ba lang kay ISM, um, EW, <coughs> EW, uy, good volume for the bounce, um, I wanna recommend EW, right? Uh, I'll include EW on my recommendations for today, guys, okay? So, EW po, uh, idagdag po natin yan sa recommendations natin. Very good, EW. Di ko napansin to, ah. Bakit di ko napansin si EW? Anyways, yeah. EW, good job sa nag-recommend kay EW. Asking about EW, nakita tuloy natin. Right, si EW is good. Next is TEL, SEC, PCOR, AGI. Yeah, we talked about AGI already. That's already out of the position. Antayin nyo lang po yung pullback niyan. Magpo-pullback po yan. Antayin lang natin. Next is Holsim. Right, si Holsim. Um... Yan, si Holsim, uh, recommended Holsim dito sa baba. Right now, it's really hard to call Holsim. There is a support kay Holsim dito. Pwede nyo po i-test yan just in case it breaks down. Meron pa naman MA20 and the major support. Um, and overall, napakaliit pa rin ng risk ni Holsim. So, pwede pa itong sa Holsim. You can test out the support right there. Pwede nyo i-test ba yan si Holsim. Um... Sir, I'm up 44% with Ali, buying regularly since several months ago using EPI of call. Ali is at a strong resistance right now. Should I sell uh, all shares at 44? Huwag po kayo magsasell ng all shares. The market is bullish, right? So, this is a very good question. ALI, do not sell all, right? Ali is a good company. Baka kasi umakyat pa. Yes, there's a strong resistance. If you see a weakness today, Pag nag-action na yan, mag-red today, pwede nyo pong ibenta ang kalahat eh. Sell half. Never, it's never wise to sell all. Isa sa mali ko ngayon, hindi ko na follow ang system ko, I, I sold DNL. All of my DNL. Kasi I was, isa rin sa reason ko is I'm, I'm nag-iipon ako ng pera. I sold DNL at this level right here on the resistance. And then umakit pa na umakit si DNL. So nagsisisi tuloy ako, bakit ko binenta lahat? Right? This is a strong resistance for DNL. Oh, hi, binenta ko lahat. But yeah, we entered naman at the bottom. So, I was really happy with my gains. And same situation tayo. Um, good gains, but I don't want to recommend selling it. Please, don't sell it. Right? Don't sell ha I mean, don't sell all. Sell half lang. Right? Si LR, sir, from Winnie. LR. And si LR, wala pa. Antayin lang natin yung bounce si LR. Baka maggumawa ng support si LR. Um, PH is already um, up. Day, day. Sir Lloyd, pa-post pala ng FB kung saan ang venue, anong oras ng payment sa workshop mo dito sa Dubai. Please send it to me. Uh, please send me a message para masend ko po sa inyo yung details. Right, Evie, the princess, pizza senior, Sir Lloyd, pizza senior, then perk, um, Lloyd, ABSP. Pizza, Sir Lloyd, pull back at MA20, looks good to ride the bounce. Yes, let's check out pizza. Right. Oh, yan. MA20 na si Pizza. Abangan nyo na yung bounce niya today. Right. Pizza has very good news. Mag-open naman sila ng maraming cha um, uh, branches dito sa Philippines uh, the coming years. Um, there's a question about MPI. We still have 2 minutes. So, MPI nang pull back. Antayin lang natin yung bounce for MPI. STR. STR naman. Ayun. Si STR still okay. Alright. Huwag nyo nang pupasukin yan. Um, Nirecommend natin yan sa MA20 niya. STR. Then, there's 2GO. 2GO group. And si 2GO nag-break na MA20 eh. So, konti ingat kay 2GO. Right? Huwag nyo munang pusukin sa mga hindi pa nakapasok. Right? Uh, ako sa 2GO ko, I'm just waiting for um, for it to really hit my cut loss which is negative, negative 3% below MA20 before I wanna cut my losses. Uh, sayang, hindi ako nag-take profits dun sa taas. But anyways, test buy lang naman yung ginawa ko. I was really hoping for it to do an uptrend. Kaso nga lang hindi. It happens. Right? So, right now, um, my 2GO is still okay. Um, I entered here at the MA20. Still, I'm still a positive 7%. Right, so, around 6%. Positive pa rin naman ako. So, I'm still holding on to, to my 2GO. Um, hopefully, it, um, Bollinger Band is telling us na magsa-sideways naman siya. So, magsa-sideways muna. Hopefully, it goes up. So, we can't really tell about 2GO yet. Um, there's no buy signal. So, wag nyo po na pasukin. Kahit may, mayroon ako stock dyan, hindi ko po i-hype yan. Huwag niyong pong pasukin muna. Let's wait for it to do a bounce before you wanna get in. Si X naman, broke MA20 already. So, get out. Eh, huwag niyo na pong pasukin yan. Um, DD, Double Dragon, is doing a pullback. So, antayin lang natin yung bounce ni DD. DD is doing good. Look at the volume already in the coming ano. So, antayin lang natin. Ito, mag-pullback talaga and make gifts us a buy signal before we wanna get in. DD. Alright. So, ayun. Any comment on Bloom? Si Bloom, medyo mataas na si Bloom eh. Let's just wait for it to complete the pullback before we wanna get in. 
uh, ABSP. Hi, Lo Sir Lloyd. What our screen are you using for your daily picks? Isabel Santos, I have an episode this week on how do I do my daily picks. Um, tingnan nyo po yun. It's about how I usually make my picks. Isabel, uh, panoorin mo po yung episode that was around two days ago or three days ago. Right? I can't remember. Kailan po seminar sa Bacolod, sir? I did have last month, uh, last October. I'm not really sure if makapag makabalik pa ako ng Bacolod anytime. So, but there's an online seminar. Meron po kong online seminar next week. Pwede ko po kayo mag-join dyan sa mga hindi po makaka-join sa mga seminars ko in person. Um, meron ako online seminar January 24, 25, 8 PM, right? Just send me a message if you want to join that instead. Sir, kahit sa webinar students, pwede na po ba yung 5K to Trade Asia? Yes. Again, sa mga previous students ko, we're gonna be giving that, um, just fin finalizing the arrangement with to Trade Asia. Right? So, if you join my seminar, you will have that privilege also. Sana matuloy po. Right? Um, not really promising anything. So, I'm just hoping that it will happen at least po. Lahat mga students ko, they can start with to Trade Asia and then that's gonna be a very good platform for them when they start training. Uh, speaking of seminars, reminders po, bukas dito sa Cebu, if you haven't joined yet, uh, registered yet, send me a message. Um, also, next week, January 24 and 25, online po yan sa mga hindi makapag-join in person. February 2, Manila. Don't miss that opportunity. That's sponsored by Itoro. 1,500 lang po. Napakamura po niyan. Um, and then sa Dubai, the schedules in Dubai that I posted, Dubai, uh, UAE, I mean uh, Abu Dhabi and Qatar. So it's 9:26, time to end. Pasensya na po hindi ko po masasagot uh, lahat, right? Um, si MY na sagot natin yan kanina. Um, just go to the chat room. Marami pong tumutulong sa chat room. If you haven't joined the chat room yet, download Discord and then there's a Discord link just sa video description. Join the chat room. Doon po tayo magpatuloy within the day. I do my best to answer everyone. Uh, yung mga magaling na traders doon, tumutulong din naman. That's it for today. It's a Friday. So, konting ingat sa market. Baka mag-take profit sa mga tao, especially for those stocks na mataas na sila Ali. It might people might take profits today, so also take your profits. Also, it's always wise to take your profits. Wag po kayo, wag nyo pong pababayaan yung stocks niyo dyan. Sell half if you need to. I'll see you again next week, same time. We'll talk about revenge trading on Monday. Yun po yung topic natin. Abangan nyo po. Let's get rich together. Have a great day. Bye bye, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Oh.